speech. This evening's Millennium Stage presentation is brought to you by the Centene Charitable Foundation with major support provided by Target and the Marriott Foundation. As a courtesy to tonight's guests and the other audience members, please take a moment to turn off your mobile devices. Photography and recording of any kind during the class is going to be prohibited. Millennium Stage celebrates the human spirit by presenting a free performance at 6 p.m. 366 days this year. Performances are broadcasted live and will be available at www.kennedy-center.org. Now, please join me in welcoming Bar 3. Hello, everyone. My name is Paige. Welcome to The Reach. Welcome to the Kennedy Center. I'm an instructor at Bar 3 14th Street with Alicia to my right and Sarah to my left. Um, Alicia will tell us a little bit about Bar 3. All right. So for those of you who have never taken a Bar 3 class, it is a full body balanced workout combining strength conditioning, cardio, and mindfulness. In the studio, we use props. We use a ballet bar. We use a core ball, weights, sometimes a band and sliders. Today, we're not going to use any of those things. We're just going to use your body, your breath, your open heart, and your mind. That's it. Yeah. That's it. So if you have a mat, you can use it. You don't need one. If you want to keep your shoes on, you can keep them on. You can be barefoot. Totally up to you. But let's get started, awesome. shall we? All right, meet us up in a standing position. <laughs> your feet are going to come right underneath you. Primary posture. So your feet are right underneath you. Toes are facing us. Heels are heavy in the floor. Knees are soft. Take your shoulders, lift them up to your ears, and drop them down your back. A few more times like this. Maybe shake your head side to side, open and close your mouth. And then leave your shoulders down your back. We're going to breathe. Take a big inhale, reach your fingertips up. Exhale, release forward. We're breathing in through our nose and all the way out through our mouth. Let's take one more meet me at the top. A big inhale. Step your feet wider than your hips to sumo. Send your seat back and hold. Drop your left shoulder down. So you're looking up and over to your right, pressing out on your inner thighs, and just noticing where your spine's at today. Can you drop your shoulders out of your ears a little bit more? A big inhale, a big exhale. Let's stand up through the center, and then go to the other side. Drop your right shoulder, look over to your left. Push down through your feet. Can your spine grow one inch longer? And then stay low, come right back through the center. We're gonna move slow here. We reach back for two, and stand up nice and tall. Reach your seat, and lift. Let's take two more nice and slow. Push. Right here, we'll find the beat and speed this up. Reach your seat, back, and lift. So your toes can point forward, or be slightly turned out. Heels are heavy in the floor, and your knees stay right over your ankles. Breathe. Let's add our arms here. Let them flow, drop, and open. Just letting them swing in a way that feels natural to you. Now, something I love about bar three is that there are always options. So no matter how you came into this space today, your main goal is to just move in a way that feels good for you. Now, my friends on either side of me are going to help us out with that. So Sarah, to my left, will be taking some modifications for neck and shoulders for upper body. Alicia will be taking modifications for knees, low back, and hips. So you can feel free to take a look at them if you want some other options. Let's take four like this. Three, two, reach your seat back and hold. Heel toe your feet out a little bit wider than they are now. Send your weight all the way over to your left foot. Reach your palms back behind you. Grow nice and long through your fingertips. Take a big breath. We're gonna stand up nice and tall, slow. We lift for two, over to the other side. Pull and reach. So root down through all four corners of both feet. Spine stays long, reach. A few more nice and slow. Feeling the resistance you're creating under your feet in your palms, pull, and reach. Last one, slow. Let's take this a little quicker here. We lift, push. 
Exhale as we move. Make sure your breath stays big. All the way in through your nose. All the way out through your mouth. Option, take your fingers up a little higher. Reach. Now your arms can always stay lower if that feels better. If it would feel better to stay up a little higher, keep your shoulders right over your hips. Turn your toes out a little bit more. Breathe. Notice where you start to feel the heat building in your body. And breathe right into those places. Three like this. Our hands come right to our hips. We're gonna skip center here. So to your right and left. There you go. Press down through your feet. Push. Let's reach our arms out. Now, if you're hinging forward, your gaze is probably down toward the floor. Want your spine to be nice and long. Push. All right, let's start to stand up a little taller. We'll bring our hands right to the front. Turn your toes out. Big push. You can stay here, or your arm comes up a little higher. Reach. If this doesn't feel good, arms can come lower. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Reach. Let's take four more. Four, three, two. Hold to your left, pivot to a crescent lunge. Left foot forward, right foot back, arms up, hold. Now breathe here all the way in through your nose all the way out through your mouth. If your front foot presses into the floor, front knee right over your ankle. Draw your left hip back so your right hip is nice and long and lift your back heel nice and high. Breathe. Take your hands to your heart, take a slight hinge forward. Press your palms in, all 10 fingers push. Nice. A big breath in. Can your inner thighs pull toward one another? We're gonna take a flow. We'll start nice and slow. Pull your back toes in, push your palms behind you. Reach right back where we started. This time we stand up tall, back toes come in, arms come up, and then reach back. A little quicker, two counts. Pull, lengthen, lift, and then reach back. Your weight stays in your front foot, your left foot. Arms are all up to you. Your arms can stay low the whole time. Instead of lifting up, they can come out in front of you if that feels better. Your breath stays with you. Big exhale, big inhale. Now option, start to take your back knee up. So toes on the floor. Right here, your right knee can come up high toward your chest. Now, wobbles and shakes are okay. That's a sign that your muscles are starting to work with you and for you here. Let's take two more. Pull for two. Reach long. Lift up tall. Our last one all the way through. Reach your right toes back and hold. Palms at your heart. Press into your front foot, lift your back heel a little higher. Option to peel your front heel off the floor as well. Squeeze your inner thighs. Take a big breath all the way in. Let's face the mirror, horse pose, feet come wide. Drop and lift. So toes turn out to 10 and two. Your shoulders stay over your hips here. Try to fight the urge to lean forward. Drop, lift. Opening up through your hips. Breath is big. Press down through both feet. Let's take four more here. Four, three, two. Sink low and hold. Lift your left heel, pivot to your right. Right foot forward, left foot back, arms up. Hold. Side two. Your front heel digs into the floor. Knee is right over your ankle. Pull your right hip back and lengthen your left leg as long as you can. Can your heel come a little higher? Breathe. A big inhale. As you exhale, let's take a hinge forward. Bring your hands to your heart. One time, four counts slow. Draw your back toes in. Push your palms. And then reach right back. Hands to your heart. 
we stand up tall, arms open to a V, and then you reach back. A little quicker, two counts. Push and reach. Now side two. Your body knows what to expect here, but it's okay if this side feels different than the first side. You can make different choices. Your feet can stay closer together. You can change where your arms are going. Or maybe this side, your front foot feels a little more stable. You start to lift your left knee up right here. Reach back. As we get our bodies warm, ready to move, your goal should be feeling as good in your body as you can. So that you'll look different than your neighbor. You'll look different than all three of us up here. And that's okay. Let's take two more. Push. Lengthen. Lift tall. Reach back. This is our last one all the way through. Reach your left toes back and hold. Push down into your front foot. Can you lift your back heel a little higher? Your inner thigh squeeze. You have the option to peel your front heel off the floor. Can you hinge forward one more inch? Take a big breath all the way in, all the way out. Let's come face the front of the room one more time. We drop and lift. Toes turn out, shoulders right over your hips. Breath stays big. Now anything else you're holding on to, any tension that crept into any part of your body, see if you can exhale that out here as you breathe big. Lift. Can you push into your feet a little bit more? Drop, lift. Option to take a lean. Let's go to your left and then to your right. There we go. Big reach out through all 10 fingers, right through the crown of your head. Push. We have four more all together. Four, three, two, last one. Sink down low, bring your hands together. Push into your feet. Option to hover your heels off the floor. One breath all the way in, all the way out. Bring your heels to the floor. Heel toe your feet in, take a big inhale. Went right to a plank. Take a swan dive forward. Hands to the floor, step your feet back. Hold, breathe. Now in our plank, you can stay up on your hands. You can also come to your knees or down to your forearms. If you're on your hands, spread your fingers wide. Your wrists are right under your shoulders. Low belly and heart are lifting away from the floor and you're taking up as much space as you can. Can you lengthen the back of your neck? Reach your body a little longer. We have two breaths. Inhale, push it all out. One more all the way in, all the way out. Lift your hips up and back. Pedal out through your feet. Start to walk your feet and hands together. Soften your knees as you roll yourself up. Take your time. When you get to the top, take a big shoulder roll back. Take your fingers back behind you and interlace them. Pull your knuckles down. Open up your heart. Inhale. Exhale. Narrow V. Take your heels, put them together. Toes are just two to three inches apart. Heels lift off the floor. Bend your knees and hold. Beautiful. Balls of your feet push into the floor and your heels are squeezing together. Starting to feel the outsides of your legs work as you press your knees open. Now hands are at your heart. Know that your heel height is up to you. Heels can come down to the floor or lift up a little higher. Take a big breath. Can you sink one inch lower? We're gonna move one inch with our tailbone. Down and lift. Little lower, little lift. Nice and small. Breathe. Make sure your breath comes with you all the way in through your nose all the way out through your mouth. Now, if this does not feel good, you can step your feet wider to horse pose. If you feel like you need a help balancing, we have a rack of chairs over to your left. Feel free to grab one, take it right next to you. That can be your little mobile bar. All right, see what's happening with your shoulders. Can you let them go? 
If your tongue is pushing to the roof of your mouth, can you release it? Push. Breathe. Let's take two more. We're going to make it a little smaller, a tiny pulse here. Down. And push. Breathe. Can you press your hands together a little harder? Maybe you start to feel little shakes building right in the outsides of your legs and your outer seat. The breath is the most important tool you walked in here, so make sure it's helping you push through right here. Big breath. You can always bring your hands to your legs, maybe to your belly and your heart. You're feeling the work that's happening. Breathe all the way in, all the way out. We have eight more. Squeeze your heels a little tighter. Stay a little lower. We're gonna move big. We'll stand up to start. We're gonna lift up for two and then open your legs wide. We push tall, think low. Now I'm feeling this nice and shaky in my legs. Also in my core that's helping to support me. Know that it's okay if your heels come down to the ground. Know that it's okay if this is small. Breathe, we have two more, that's it. All the way up. Squeeze your heels. Last one, hold at the bottom. Our legs are gonna push out, little press. So really feeling the outside of your seat start to work here. Breathe. Shoulders are over your hips. Core is strong. All the way in, all the way out. Let's take eight, seven, six. Press down into the floor. Hold this last one, feet push down, legs press wide. Option to take your arms in front of you or up to the sky. Drop your shoulders. Our last option here is to close your eyes. That can be kind of a scary thing. It's okay if wobble starts to come. Breathe into this moment, breathe into your shakes right here, two breaths, inhale, exhale. Last one all the way in, all the way out. Lift up tall, bring your feet right underneath you. Big inhale. Hands come together, seat goes back. Incline chair, hold. Heels are heavy, knees right over your ankles and your low belly lifts away from the floor. We're gonna flush this out to start. Here we go, let's drop our seat. Back and push. Press down through both feet. And let this feel good as you stand up tall, length to the fronts of your legs. You have the support of both of your feet pressing into the floor. Breathe. Now if this doesn't feel good on your knees, your hips, you can stay up a little higher. Something to be careful of is that our hips don't push in front of us, but instead we stand nice and tall. Feet push down, crown of your head is up. Drop, push. Let's take four more. Three, two, reach your seat back and hold. Palms to your heart. Push your palms in. Way down through your heels. We're gonna move one inch with our seat. Our seat goes back an inch, little lift. Reach, lift. Now knees stay stacked. Spine is long and your head comes right out of your spine. If we lift our chin to crunch the back of our neck, the rest of our spine will respond and the muscles go all out of whack. So here you wanna leave your spine nice and long, putting your spine in a place to be supported by all the muscles that you're feeling. Rest, squeeze. Let's take four more. Three, two. We're gonna switch it to a pulse a little quicker here. Back, push. Can you wiggle your toes on the floor? Can your spine grow one inch longer? Yes. Can your breath be nice and big? Beautiful. Woo. Feeling the connection between your heels and the backs of your legs. You feeling that, Sarah? Oh, yeah. Breath comes all the way in, all the way out. There we go. Let's take eight more tiny little taps right here. Eight, seven, four, three, Hold your seat back. Can you lift your right heel off the floor? Keep your hips nice and level. Push your right heel back down. A little quicker, we'll switch sides. Left, lower, right, lower. Keep your hips right where they are. We're almost there. 
We're gonna flush this out one more time. Leave both heels down here. Take a big breath, drop your seat. Down and push. There you go. Lots of length through the front of your body as you stand tall. Push. As you press your palms behind you, can you feel your triceps turning on, your arms lengthening? Shoulder blades squeezing down and in. Push. We have four, three, two. Reach your seat back and hold. Grand finale right here. Press your palms in. Option to keep your heels on the floor or peel them off. Yes. Can you send your seat one inch farther behind you? Can you close your eyes? Two breaths, inhale. Exhale. Last one all the way in. All the way out. Stand up tall, step your feet to horse pose. Send your seat low. Bring your arms in front of you, turn your palms to me. Two counts, arms are gonna come in. And lengthen, nice and slow. Pull and reach. So squeeze your elbows right into your sides. Feet are in horse pose. If this doesn't feel good, you can come a little closer, stand a little taller, or come right to primary posture, feet come underneath you. Start to feel your biceps squeeze as you pull. Right here, yes. Then arms are nice and long. Pull and reach. Now I know we're probably feeling this in our legs. Let's start to move. We're gonna stand up tall here. Push through your feet. And then reach your arms long for two, pull for two, reach and pull. By keeping your elbows in one place, that allows your biceps and triceps to move. Instead of this being a swing, let's find a little quicker. We reach and lift, push. Now what's happening with your breath? Is somewhere in your body trying to hold? Can you send your breath right there? Push. This is not how I woke up. Four more like this. Reach. Pull. Sing this one nice and low. Roll your shoulders down your back. Nice and slow again. We're gonna squeeze for two. And reach for two. Exhale. Inhale. Press into your feet. Let's stand up nice and slow here. Come up for two. Lengthen your arms as long as you can. Pull and reach. Inhale. Exhale. Last one slow. A little quicker. One more time. Pull. Reach. Every time you lift, can your heels feel like they're squeezing in toward the center of your body? Feeling your inner thighs and seat turn on. Two more. Hold this one at the bottom. Bring your hands to your heart one more time. You can press into your feet or peel your heels off the floor. Breathe all the way in. All the way out. One more all the way in. All the way out, lower your heels. Heel toe your feet in. We're all gonna face your left. You're gonna bring your left foot forward, your right foot back. Elbows right into your sides. Hold. Reach your fingertips out long in front of you. Your spine has a slight hinge to it. We're gonna take our right toes, draw them in. Elbows pull back. Stay low through your left leg. And then reach right back where we started. This time, lift up tall. Arms come open to a T. Right knee comes up. And then you reach back where we started. Two counts. We stay low. We reach long, lift up, reach back. Exhale, pull, inhale, reach. So give yourself these first few just as a test run. Noticing how this feels, where you're starting to feel this in your body. And as always, we have options. You want your weight to be down in your left foot but your right toes can stay on the floor the whole time. You can also bring your arms lower if that feels better on your shoulders and neck. Pull, reach. Can you breathe with your movement here? Big exhale as you squeeze. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lift. Reach. Now we'll feel this on our left leg. 
You'll also start to feel this in a few different muscles in your upper body. Right here, the middle of your back squeezes, chest pushes, shoulder caps lift, chest pulls you right back down. Exhale, inhale. Protecting your front knee as you move, knowing that you can stay higher. Know that you can also take a second whenever you need it. If you have water with you, take water. There's also a water fountain right outside. You take the time you need to move big here. Let your heart rate start to rise. Pull, this is our last one on this side. Reach your right toes back and hold. Bring your hands to your heart, press your palms together. Option to lift your front heel off the floor. Breathe. Two breaths, inhale. Get a little deeper. Yes, last one all the way in. Exhale, let's face the front of the room. Sumo squat, let one arm go at a time. Drop, lift, breathe. Both feet are heavy in the floor. Arms are just swinging here. If you don't want this to be a swing, maybe it's a shrug instead. Drop, lift. Let's take four more. We'll go right into the other side. Last two. Stand up tall, face your right. Your right foot comes forward, left foot goes back. Elbows come into your sides. This time, open up your arms so your palms are facing in front of you. Push down into your right heel. Pull your right hip back, beautiful. This time, left toes draw in, palms are gonna squeeze together. And then reach your left toes back, arms open up wide. Push into your right foot, lift your left knee, arms come to a goal post, and then reach back. Two counts. In, open, lift, step back. Left toes can stay on the floor the whole time, or your knee can lift off the ground. Your right foot is your anchor. The more you push that into the floor, the more space you will have to move right on top. Back for two. Squeeze, exhale, inhale, open, lift, pull back. There you go. Let's breathe all together here. Exhale, squeeze, inhale, open wide, push. Now your elbows come no higher than your shoulders. All the muscles right in the tops of our shoulders that connect to our neck. They take enough work, they get enough stress throughout the rest of our day. All right here, we wanna let that melt away. So then all the other muscles that support your posture, your spine, your core, let those work the way they should right here. Lift, let's take one more all together. Big squeeze in, open up. Lift tall, reach back and hold. Elbows squeeze right into your sides. Feeling your lats fire up, your biceps working. Back heel lifts a little higher. Can you lift your front heel off the floor? Take a big breath. Two, all the way in, all the way out. Last one, big inhale, big exhale. Let's come to face the front of the room, sumo squat. One more time. Drop, lift. Both heels are heavy in the floor. Arms swing. Let's take four more. Four, three, two. Reach your seat back and hold. Wrap your arms around a big beach ball in front of you. Roll your shoulders down your back. Now we're gonna fly our arms open, lift our heels, squeeze your shoulder blades together, press your feet back into the floor, arms wrap. Two counts. Up for two, lower for two. Now your heels can stay in the floor the whole time. If this does not feel good to be hinged, maybe you stand up a little taller right in primary posture. Chest fly from there. Can your hips all the way up to the crown of your head stay nice and stable, nice and supported as you move here. Up for two, lower. Last one. Push your heels down, send your arms long behind you. Tiny little taps. Can your arms reach one inch longer? Can your ribs pull toward one another right in the front of your body? Breathe all the way in. Eight, seven, six, four, 
Hold your arms long, reach them back. One more inch, a big inhale, a big exhale. Stand up tall, feet come wide, horse pose right here. Toes at 10 and two. Breath is big, drop, lift. Now keep your shoulders right over your hips. We're gonna move a little bigger, take up a little more space here. Know that this is your home base. You can always come right back here. Push. Can you press a little harder into your feet? Can your breath go down a little deeper right to your belly? All the way in, all the way out. Let's take three more. Three, two, hold this one low. We're gonna take tap taps to the left right here. We drop and lift. Hands and come to your thighs. Or arms can just let go and swing. Press down into both feet. Both legs reach nice and long right at the sides. Drop and push. Let's reach our arm. One palm comes front. Push. Right out in front of you. Shoulders and hips stay square. There we go. Push. Option, reach up a little higher right here. Push. I want you to take up as much space as you can. Last four, three, two. All right, arms come down. Let me get a little smaller. Breathe. All the way in, all the way out. Push into your feet, legs are long. Drop and push. Four like this. We'll come right back to horse pose. Two. Step your feet to horse pose, drop your arms. Lift. Check in with your breath. Where is it going? How is it supporting you right here? Drop, lift. Nice and big. Now arms can stay a little lower. You can also move a little smaller with your seat. We have one more round. So breath stays big. You get to take out the even more six. Drop, lift. Three more. Two. Drop your seat low. We're gonna go to the left right here. Drop and push. Legs are long. Heart is open right to the front of the room. Let's reach. Push. Pressing a nice strong hand right in front of you. Option, a little higher. Up. Breath is big, all the way in, all the way out. We're gonna take our hands two to the front, two up to the corners right here. And then up a little higher. To the front, and lift. There you go, last set all the way through. Let your arms come down. Let them swing. Breath is big. Heart is open. There you go. Make it a little smaller. A little smaller. Breathe. Four, three, two. Step your feet together, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to the top. Bring your hands together, pull them to your heart. One to your heart, one to your belly. Soften your knees, let your eyes close. All you have to do right now is breathe. Feel what's happening under both hands right now. All that work that you put in, the energy, the sweat, the heartbeat you created, the breath that's going all the way down to your belly. A big inhale, a big exhale. Open up your eyes. Step your feet a little bit wider. Inhale your arms up. Reach your fingers back behind you. Interlace them. Pull your knuckles down. You can stay here or take a hinge forward, a nice flat back stretch. Seat reaching behind you. Crown of your head reaching long. A breath here. And then gently release your fingers to the floor. Let your head fall. You can stay here or bend one knee at a time. You can shift your hips over one way and then in the other direction. Wherever you go, whatever your body is asking for here, 
Move with your breath. Take the time that you need. Let's take one more on each side, or even yourself out wherever you are. Come back through the center. Take a big bend in your knees as you slowly start to roll yourself up. Heel toe your feet together. We're gonna take a quad stretch. Kick your left heel into your seat. Soften your right knee. Maybe your right arm comes up. It's okay if this is wobbly. Breathe. Can you lengthen the front of your left leg a little bit longer? Inhale. Exhale, let's switch sides. Your right heel kicks in. Square off your hips. Soften your standing leg. Option to take your opposite arm up. Breathe all the way in. All the way out. One more breath here. Let that go. And we'll go right into our seat work. We're gonna stay standing and come into carousel horse. So let's bring your right foot forward, left foot back. Both knees bend. You can continue to face the mirror. Elisa and Sarah are gonna face each other so you can see what we're doing from the side view. Hands come to your hearts. Push down into your front foot. Your knee stays right over your ankle. And with your back leg, your knee is right under your hips. So our stance isn't super wide. Squeeze your inner thighs in. And we're gonna take one inch right here. Down an inch, up an inch. Just the back knee is a little motion down and up. Now you can see Alicia is here taking a slight hinge. If your low back is asking for more space, take a slight hinge forward and see how that feels. Any pain in your knees? Maybe bring your feet closer together. They don't have to be super wide. If you'd rather your feet be together, you can come into incline chair, maybe lifting a heel or leaving them both on the floor. Press your palms in and drop your shoulders out of your ears. It's small, just one inch. We're gonna take four like this. Three, two, hold this one low. Now your front knee is gonna stay right where it is. You extend your back leg, push your palms behind you. Two counts, we lower down, and then push back up. Drop for two. Press for two. The weight is staying mainly in your front foot. Breathe. Drop your knee. Reach your back leg long. Now the dominant burn you will feel is in your right leg, your right seat, the outside of your right leg. But as you reach your back leg long, you can also squeeze your seat on that side, feeling both legs work here. Lower, big push. Let's take four more. Drop and push. Three, reach through your fingertips. Last one all the way through. We're gonna sink our back knee down and hold. Hands to your heart. You can be upright or hinged. Push into your front foot and your back heel up a little higher. Can you press your right knee out to the right one inch? Yes. Big inhale. Big exhale. Step your back foot in. Come to sumo. Drop and lift. Both feet heavy in the floor. A quick flush out before side two. Drop and lift. Three. Let's take four more. Four. Three. Two. Stand up tall, left foot forward, right foot back. Carousel horse. Bend both knees. Hold. Push into your left foot. Pull your left hip back. Send your right knee down one more inch. Down an inch, up an inch. So from your left knee down to your left ankle. Nice and stable. Nice and supported here. Maybe your left knee pushes out one inch to the left. Feeling the outside of your seat work right there. How far apart your feet are can change. You can be upright or hinged, no matter what happened on side one. Drop and lift. Make sure you're breathing. Let's take four, three, two. Last one, drop your back knee down, and then push into your front foot, reach your fingertips behind you. Two counts. Big reach. Front knee stays stacked, breath stays big. Feeling the outside of your left leg. Working overtime here. Breathe, push, sink. 
and push. Let's take four more. Can you reach a little longer through your fingers? Three. Two. This is our last one. We're gonna lower our back knee and hold. Hands come together. Can you press into your front foot? Can your back knee sink a little bit lower? Take a big breath all the way in, all the way out. Step your feet to sumo. A quick flush out before we come down to our seats. Drop, push. Let's take four more. Heels are heavy. Three, two, stand up tall. And we're gonna make our way down to our seats. So however you wanna get down there, take your time. Stay facing forward. Elisa and Sarah are gonna face in. We're gonna take seated core. Feet plant into the ground. Hands right behind your thighs. Roll your shoulders back, sit up as tall as you can. And then take a slight hinge back, you can just be an inch. It's not far. Breathe. Take a big inhale, send your heart forward. Exhale, curve through your spine, chin tuck just a little bit. And then inhale, we sit up tall. Exhale, curl. What you want to start to feel here is a big contraction in your core as you exhale, ribs pull in. Now your hinge doesn't have to be big here. When we do this in the studio, we usually tuck our orange ball right behind our tailbone for a little extra support. So know that it's okay if you want to sit up a little taller here. Let's take one more all the way through. Exhale, and then bring your spine back to neutral. Roll your shoulders back. Bring your arms out in front of you. Drop your shoulders. We're gonna pull our right elbow back and then reach our right arm nice and long. Left elbow pulls and reach. Exhale, inhale. So if your hip flexors are starting to take over, there are lots of options here. Legs can come long, you can sit up a little taller. You can knock your knees in or maybe your knees knock out. Take your time finding something that feels good here. As you breathe, our spine stays long and supported as our core starts to work. So shoulder blades draw down and in. Yes, heart is open. Breathe. Pull. And reach. Now you can stay here or take both elbows back at the same time. Big pull. And reach. Make sure your heart is shining forward. Maybe you soften your gaze. Start to feel those shakes building. <laughs> know that you can take a break. You can take a second if you need to. Big reach. We have three more, you got this. Big reps. It's never too late to make a change. You can change where your legs are. Big breath. This is it. Reach long and hold. Drop your shoulders down. Option to stay here or take your fingers up a little higher. Option to stay here or touch your fingers right to the back of your head. Breathe. Can your heart shine forward just a little bit more? Can you hinge back one more centimeter? Last breath all the way in. All the way out. Grab behind your legs, pull yourself up. There you go, feet come together, knees open. Just take big circles with your heart. Start one direction, we'll go both ways. It doesn't matter which way you started. And then take your time. Let's go the other way. Letting your hips go, your low back get a little release. All right, bring yourself back up. Let's all take our toes to face the wall to your right. And we're gonna slowly roll all the way down to our back for bridge lifts. So come to your back, knees are bent, feet are planted. The tops, or your, the tips of your fingers can just barely touch your heels. And then bring your arms down by your sides, flip your palms up to the blue ceiling, press through your feet to lift your hips, and hold. Breathe. Feeling all four corners of both feet push. Tops of your legs are reaching long, and ribs stay close to the floor. So if your ribs are pushing up high, see if you can drop them back down. Nice. Shoulders, neck, jaw all release. Take a big inhale. We're gonna move nice and slow. Four counts with our seat. Lower your seat. Three, four. Press into your feet, push right back up. Nice and slow. We lower. Two, three, four, and push. Can you inhale as you lower? 
and then exhale as you lift. Now, if you're feeling this in your knees, you can play around with where your feet are if you can come a little bit wider than your hips. If you're feeling this in your low back, stay a little closer to the floor, or you can come up onto your shins and take a similar motion with your seat up in a kneeling posture. But shh. Let's take one more super slow. Hips go down. Two, three, four, lift. A little quicker, two counts here. We lower down and push. Lower and press. Can you inhale as your seat comes down? Exhale as you press into your heels, yes. Feel that connection between the push down in your feet and the squeeze right in the backs of your legs. Now check on the rest of your body. What's happening in your fingers? in your shoulders, in your neck, in your jaw. Can you let any of that go? Let the work stay right in the backs of your legs. This is our last one. We lower down, lift up and hold. We're gonna take tiny little pulses up, little squeeze. So ribs stay close to the floor. Maybe here you let your eyes close. Let everything else fall heavy into the ground. Feeling the support down through both feet. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Little push. Can your arms be a little heavier? Can your heels push down a little harder into the floor? Let's take eight more pulses. Six, four, three, two, Hold. Option, lift your heels off the floor, and then press your heels all the way back down into the ground. A little quicker, two counts. Heels lift, heels push. Now you want your hips to stay in one place here. Maybe your hands come right to the side of your seat or the tops of your hip bones, making sure you're not lifting or dropping. Both hip bones are pointing up. Breathe, all the way in. Press your feet down. The push down into the floor is just as important as the lift up. We have three more. Lift and lower. Last two. We're gonna hold this next one up. So lift your heels off the floor and hold. Now bring your heels to a hover. They're one centimeter off the ground. There we go. Option to take your arms, reach them above your heart, wrap them around a big beach ball. We have two breaths. Inhale, all the way out. Last one, all the way in. Through your exhale, let your seat come down to the floor. Take your knees in windshield wipers. Just let your knees fall side to side. Taking your time here. Letting your hip flexors release, your low back release. Now we're gonna stay on our back for our final working posture. So bring your feet back to the floor. Arms are still down by your sides. We're gonna take flat back core. Lift your knees so they're right above your hips. Knees are bent. Hold. Take a big breath all the way in. And a huge breath all the way out. Another inhale here. As you exhale, march your right toes down toward the floor until you feel a little catch. And then pull your knee back up over your hip. Other side, exhale, left toes march. And then you pull back to the center. Take your time here as you move. Maybe you add one second onto each march, like we're moving in slow motion. Take your time. Now the goal is not for our toes to touch the floor. You wanna feel the catch right in the center of your body. So if your hip flexors or low back are taking over, make your march a little bit smaller. Maybe it's just two inches. You can also extend your leg long instead of taking a march. Or bring both feet right to the floor. Take a march up to tabletop like Alicia. Beautiful. Knowing that the slower we move, the bigger we breathe, the better we can connect with the center of our body. 
and your abdominals, your core, is so much more than just that front line of superficial muscles. They start all the way in your back, they wrap around the front of your body. They go deep down into the center of your, of your body to protect all of your organs. So see what happens here if you drop your shoulders a little heavier into the floor. You can stay here or bring your arms, point your fingers right up to the sky, stay there, or opposite arm as leg will reach behind you. So as your right toes march, your left fingers go back, and then you pull everything to stack right through the center. Breathe. Now, if it doesn't feel good to be on your back, you can bring yourself back up to seated core where we were before. Bring your hands to your heart and take one leg in and out at a time. One more time here, like we pushed a button and we're in super slow motion. Can you slow it down a little bit more? Maybe allow your eyes to close. And notice what you're feeling as you move. Where is your body working? Acknowledge the work that you are doing here. Can any of the muscles in your face relax just a little bit? Let's take one more on each side. We are almost there. We have our grand finale hold. Bring both knees back to tabletop. Flex your toes. We have a few breaths here. Big inhale. As you exhale, push into your feet. Push your heels out two inches. Nice. If your arms aren't lifted, you have the option to lift them to the sky. Two breaths. Inhale. Exhale, push your feet out one more inch. Inhale. Exhale, push. And then bring your knees into your chest. Give your legs a big hug. Wrap your arms around your shins. You can rock side to side if that feels good. While we're on our back, let's give our glutes some love. You can take a figure four, crossing your right ankle over your left thigh. Hands come back behind your left leg. Flex your right toes, open your right knee out wide. You can also take this up in a seated position if that feels better. Breathe space into the outside of your right hip, your right seat. Take another breath here. And then let's switch sides, unwind your legs. Left ankle crosses over right thigh. Left toes flex. Left knee open wide. Spine is long on the floor. Take another breath. All the way out. And then gently unwind, grab behind your legs. Now gently bring yourself up to a seated position. You can rock and roll or push yourself up. Let's come to face the front of the room. Your left leg is gonna come out long. Right foot comes to your inner thigh. Your right fingertips come all the way up and over, reaching toward your left leg. Both sit bones are heavy in the floor. You find a big reach out under your arm, out through your fingertips. Breathe all the way in. All the way out. One more breath here. And then keep your legs exactly where they are. We're just gonna switch our arms. Your left fingers come up. You can stay here or press into your hand and your shin, lift your hips up. Opening up the whole left side of your body here, last of length. Breathe all the way in, all the way out. Slowly come back down. Let's bring our feet to cobbler's pose through the middle. Soles of your feet come together. Sit up tall, you can stay here or drop your chin, drop your head. Close your eyes. Big breaths all the way in, all the way out. Slowly roll yourself up. Let's take the other side. Your right leg comes out, left foot comes in. Left fingers reach up and over. Beyond your toes here, so see how long you can make your spine. Reach out a little bit longer. Inhale. Exhale. Let's lift up, keep your legs the same. Switch your arms. Right fingers reach up. You can stay here or press into the floor. Lift your hips up. Finding lots of space out through the right side of your body. Big breaths all the way in, all the way out. Slowly bring yourself back down. Take both of your legs, reach them straight out in front of you. 
pull your toes back, reach your fingers up to the sky. A big inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Allow your arms to just drop, your chin drops to your chest. Spine can round. Now you can keep your legs long, or if it feels better, take a soft bend in your knees. Dig your heels into the floor. Finding some more space for your low back. Maybe you close your eyes here and start to focus back in on your breath, in through your nose, all the way out through your mouth. Let's take one more breath here. Open up your mouth, let that go. Start to roll yourself up to a seated position. And I'll find somewhere comfortable just to sit. We're gonna breathe for a few minutes. So your legs can cross, they can come long. If you prefer, you can come lay down on your back on the floor. Settle in, both sits bones heavy in the floor. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, allow your eyes to close. Now give yourself a few moments to arrive here. There is no rush. Know that you can change how you're sitting. Your breath starts to come all the way in through your nose. And you open your jaw, allow it all to release out through your mouth. Taking a few minutes here to slow down. To listen to what's happening in your body. And that's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna listen and breathe. So maybe take a scan of your body, start at the very top, work your way down, one breath at a time, one piece at a time. Just checking in, just noticing, listening your own body the same way you would to a friend, to a loved one. Not trying to change anything, not critiquing, not trying to fix, but just listening. Sometimes these quieter, slower moments can be even more challenging than our tough, heart-racing sweat dripping moments, but they are just as important. You'll start to notice that your breath is there in the chaos, in those heart pumping moments, and also in these quieter moments. That is one thing that you will always have no matter what. Your inhale all the way in through your nose. Your exhale all the way out to your mouth. So no matter what happens, know that after each exhale will come another inhale. Your breath is there to support you every step along the way. more big breaths like this. You can start to wiggle your fingers a little bit, maybe wiggle your toes. If you're sitting, let your chin drop to your chest. Maybe your right ear falls to your right shoulder. You come through the center, left ear to left shoulder, allowing your neck to just roll gently side to side. Gently start to blink your eyes open if you haven't. And come sit up tall. Let's all take our right fingers, reach them all the way up and over to the left. Get to me, Inhale through the center. Let's go back the other way. Finding a big reach and stretch to the side of your body. Maybe your gaze goes up under your arm. As you start to take up more space. Let's take one more on each side. And then we're going to come back through the center. Making yourself into a low crouch. Your feet are going to come right underneath you. Your fingertips brace you right in front of you. Heels are heavy to the floor. Maybe you feel your chest or your belly on your thighs. Let your chin drop to your chest. 
Know that this is the smallest you will be today. Take a big breath all the way in. And as you exhale, lower your heels to the floor, lift your hips, you're in a forward fold. Knees are soft. Reach for opposite elbows and just gently sway side to side. Finding a release through your back, through your neck, your shoulders. Come back through the center, let your arms hang long. Shake your head no. More importantly, nod your head yes, but you did it. Knees stay soft as you push into the floor, start to roll yourself up one inch at a time. There is no rush to reach the top. Whenever you do, take a big shoulder roll back. Let your arms just rinse out side to side. Breathe. All right, let your arms come quiet down by your sides. Feet are right underneath you. Let's finish with a few breaths all together. Inhale your fingers up. Exhale, let that go. Breathe in through your nose and all the way out through your mouth. As you breathe here, maybe you inhale something you want to keep, a feeling, a sense of accomplishment, the energy in this room. And as you exhale, send that good feeling out to everybody else in this big, beautiful studio. Let's take one more all the way through. And then inhale to the top, bring your palms together, pull your hands to your heart, press your thumbs right into your chest, soften your knees. Close your eyes as you drop your chin. We're gonna take a few more breaths all together, in through our nose, all the way out through your mouth. Two more, inhale, exhale. Whatever you wanna keep, take it in right here. And as you exhale, open up your eyes. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful work, everyone. Thank you, thank you for coming on behalf of the Kennedy Center and Bar 3 at 14th Street. It was so fun to spend this hour with you guys. We have a few things. We have free class cards, so you can go to any Bar 3, any of the eight in the DC area. So grab one on your way out. Our friends Lena and Amber will have those at the doors. We also have two clipboards at the table behind your right shoulder. If you wanna write down your email, you can get our updates about events, other free classes, good things like that. We'll be around if you have questions. We'd love to chat. Let us know. Thank you again. Have a great night, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us at the Kennedy Center for tonight's Millennium Stage Experience. For more information on upcoming Millennium Stage programming, please visit us 